Hello everyone and welcome to Twitch Plays Pokemon Daily Update. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a retrospective on what happened before day 7. Now the first two days are a bit blurry as there wasn't a lot of coverage of Twitch Plays Pokemon back then, so I'm going to give you as much information as I know. In the first and second days we were able to start the game and selected Abby or open parentheses A B B B B B B K open parentheses the Charmander as our starter. We train our Abby and it evolves into Charmeleon, and with this Charmeleon we are able to defeat Brock. We head out of Pewter City to head towards Mount Moon and eventually come across a Pidgey that will later become known as Bird Jesus. We enter Mount Moon and we obtain a Moonstone, and we create a religion by obtaining the Helix Fossil. Now more people are starting to watch Twitch Plays Pokemon, so the documentation for days 2 and up starts to get a little bit better than the first. We are able to clear Mount Moon, and in the grass slightly before Cerulean City, we are catching Jay Leno the Rattata. We are able to cross Nugget Bridge, beat our rival, and Bird Jesus, our Pidgey, evolves into Pidgey Odo. However, we decide we no longer wish to be in possession of the Moonstone, so we just toss it aside. We go back down to Cerulean City and defeat Misty before going up Nugget Bridge once again and saving Bill. While up there, we catch Dig Rat, the Rattata. Now we are in Day 3, where we catch the Keeper, or Drowsy. We also catch a Spiro before boarding the SS Anne with the SS ticket that Bill gave us. We run through the ship and we come across Blue, our rival, before handily defeating them. We then rub the captain's back a little and obtain HMO 1 Cut. We trade Spiro for Ducks the Farfetch so we can teach Ducks Cut. Ducks is able to use Cut to break the bush in front of Lieutenant Surge's gym and we enter it. It only takes us roughly half an hour to beat the trash can puzzle and move on up to Lieutenant Surge. We are able to defeat Lieutenant Surge, however, we do accidentally soft reset the game. This isn't that much of a problem though because we compulsively save the game. Day 4 isn't all that eventful as the only things that happen in it is we go back to Cerulean, make a right towards the cut and are able to finally break that down and then have trouble with the ledge leading towards Rock Tunnel. It takes roughly 6 hours to pass the ledge and we continue towards the Pokemon Center right before Rock Tunnel. We deposit Digrat into the PC, and then we proceed through Rock Tunnel, which takes roughly six hours. While in there, our Bird Jesus evolves into Pidgeot. We go through to Lavender Town and continue to Celadon City, where we enter Erica's gym. At the beginning of the fifth day, our Pidgeot essentially destroys Erica, and we leave her gym. We decide we want the Eevee now, and obtain the False Prophet Eevee. While trying to buy a Water Stone to evolve the Eevee into a Vaporeon, we accidentally buy the Fire Stone. We also obtain the Soda Pop to give to the guard so we can enter Saffron City. Upon entering Saffron City, after giving the guard the Soda Pop, we go directly to the Pokemon Center, where we accidentally release Jay Leno the Rattata and Abby, our starter Charmeleon. However, we do withdraw Digrat, so we have another Rattata, if that's any compensation for releasing our starter. We proceed to catch Oddish, and then we start what will be known as the Spinning Hell in Team Rocket Headquarters. We use the Firestone finally to evolve the False Prophet Eevee into Flareon. Then, multiple times, Digrat uses Dig to exit the Spinning Hell, so we have to return back to it. At the beginning of the next day, it starts out how the other one ended by Digrat using Dig, to exit. Eight hours into the next day, Democracy vs. Anarchy voting system begins. Since we last got dug out, we do deposit False Prophet and the Keeper, our Drowsy, into the box. We are able to return to the Spinning Hell, where using Democracy we obtain the Lift Key. Due to an escape rope, we leave the headquarters once again, go back to the PC, and release Flareon. We also withdraw our Drowsy, and we go back to face Giovanni, where, at the end of the day, we are defeated by him. We go through the spinning hell once again, thanks to Anarchy, and thanks to Bird Jesus and Ducks, we defeat Giovanni. However, before picking up the Sylph Scope, Digrat uses Dig, so now we have to go through spinning hell once again. We manage it in only a few hours, obtain the Sylph Scope, and go back to Pokemon Tower in Lavender City. Here, we defeat Blue, obtain Swift, and teach Digrat Swift, having him delete Thunderbolt. We change Digrat's actual name from Rattata to AJ, we buy a couple of Great Balls, and we go back to a Rock Tunnel to grind a little bit. We obtain Dashbat the Zubat, our Oddish has been renamed to X-Cabbage, and we catch another Zubat which is automatically sent to the PC. 
We now go back to Saffron City where we obtain the Psychic TM in order to teach it to Drowsy. While there, we also decide that we want another Pokemon, so we have Bird Jesus take on the Dojo Gym. He solos it by himself, and we choose Hitmonlee, which we name CCC or C3KO. Due to our full party, he is also automatically sent to the PC. So this means we have to face the PC. Once getting into the Pokemon Center and to the PC, we deposit the Helix Fossil, Lift Key, Sylph Scope, Cut, and SS Ticket into it. Then we proceed to release C3KO, making him the shortest lived Pokemon in Twitch Plays Pokemon. We also deposit Cabbage and release X-Wing the Zubat before withdrawing Cabbage once again. After two minutes of faffing around, we are able to withdraw all of the previously deposited items. We then teach Drowsy Psychic and go back to Pokemon Tower where we catch a Ghastly. This is where my other updates begin, so if you want to learn more about that, I uh, will put an annotation linking to Day 7 and Day 8. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, feel free to give it a like, favorite, share, let people know. You can also subscribe if you want to be up to date. I will be releasing one of these uh, a day. I will be doing Day 9 later on today. It is not nearly complete yet, so there's a lot of stuff that can happen. Also, if you want to subscribe for later Pokemon videos that I will be putting out, you can also do that. Anyway, that's really all I have to say. Thank you for listening, and I shall talk to all of you tomorrow.